everyone, Kaboom here from Hidden Path Entertainment. In our last tutorial video, we covered controls and navigation for our level editor, DG Architect. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to create a basic map in Defense Grid 2 from scratch. Let's get started. The key things we'll need to make our map is core housing, build tiles, roads, and a spawn point for the aliens. First, I'm going to place our most important piece, the core housing. Once you find the core housing in your block window, go ahead and click it to select it, and then place it anywhere on your grid. Now that we've placed our core housing, we'll want to lay down a few tiles near it, that way we can build towers to protect it. Head back to the block window, select Tower Door Concrete, and place as many as you'd like. I'm going to circle my core housing like this. Alright, next up on the list is making a road. Back in your block window, you'll want to select Road Node and place a few on your grid. I'm going to place mine like this to create a straight path. After they've been placed, click on one of the road nodes, hold down Control, and click the other road node. Once both are selected, press R to connect them. When you're ready, hit Escape to deselect blocks. Now with your road paved out, you can adjust it with the red, blue, and green handles. I'm going to make my road a bit longer, so I'm going to drag it out by clicking on the red handle and moving it a bit this way. There we are. Now let's take this one step further. Let's change the appearance of our road. Head over to your World Assets window, click a Road node, and you'll notice in the Property window a field that says Road Description Name. Click there and type Roads slash Road underscore a period road and make sure to press enter and bam you have a glorious looking road there are plenty more designs you can choose from and i'll have them posted below the video for you next up we'll need a place for the aliens to spawn going back to the block window select spawn node and place it at the end of the road you'll want to double check in the property window that is entry and is exit values are both checked Last but not least, let's save our progress and compile the mission so we can check it out in DG2. Don't forget to verify spawns as well before you submit. And there you have it, a DG2 map made from scratch. It might be a bit basic, but hey, we're just getting started. Have questions? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.